It's not exactly a secret that the sun can super flare, that solar storms happen regularly over time, and whereas in the past when our society was not dependent on electricity, it didn't matter as much, our modern, electrified way of life can be taken from us in less than a day. No farming equipment, no refrigeration, no transportation, the food supply collapses. Water treatment and distribution collapses, no water from the tap. No heat, no air conditioning, no internet, no lights, no phone, no hospitals, no banks, no gas, no ATMs, no 911. So the question begs to be asked, when is this going to happen? In terms of the sun's maximum flare, an X-1000 event, a grid-destroying solar kill shot for sure, the most recent analysis suggests they happen every 6,000 years, but lesser, equally dangerous flares to our way of life happen much more often. Previous analyses suggested those X-1000 flares could happen as regularly as every 800 years, with the smaller ones still capable of eliminating our way of life every 150 to 200 years. We went over a study earlier this week that suggests sun-like stars may produce X-4000 or even X-9000 flares, but the question is not the maximum flare power of the sun. The question is how often does it fire a big enough blast to send us back to the Stone Age? The studies that attempt to answer that question do not look at the sun from a flare physics perspective, but rather the geologic evidence deposited by past events here on Earth. Time and time again, the answer seems to be the same. As we saw this past week in another paper, every 150 to 200 years, the sun will hit Earth to that degree. Not a long window for an electrified civilization to get its act together. The level of flare that our modern way of life could not handle is actually only around X50, which would produce a geomagnetic storm in excess of KP9, wiping out the global grids, setting fire to electrified structures, and sending humanity back centuries. The last one was 1859, 164 years ago. So in the scope of that 150 to 200 years range, we're in the red zone. If it happened tomorrow, no serious solar physicist or geophysicist would be shocked beyond belief, and our time is certainly running out. What's worse, Earth is becoming more vulnerable because we are in a geomagnetic excursion. The magnetic poles are shifting, but more importantly, the magnetic field protection of our planet, our protection from the sun, is weakening. We have seen it impacting the upper layers of the atmosphere and even the jet streams, but more important than the slight modulation of geophysical phenomena, the sun is getting an easier and easier shot at our planet during this magnetic pole shift. The magnetic field, weakening quickly, accelerating. Let's do a little bit of math. We should see that super solar storm at some point within the next 36 years. That would be the maximum full 200 years between the last one and the next one. But when exactly in the next 36 years is anyone's guess? Chances of it happening this year are only about 5%, but by 2030, that number jumps up to 25%, and by 2040, we're basically at a 50-50 chance. But that's before you consider the weakening of Earth's magnetic field. I consider it highly unlikely we will make it to 2050, and a very good chance we're not going to make it to 2040. The important thing to take away from this is that what we see around us is not going to continue. These storms routinely pound our planet, and we're due. For the first time, we are in an electro-dependent society, unlike the past, where nearly everything that keeps 8 billion people alive will be impacted if not taken away completely. Are you ready for this to happen? The sun doesn't care if you are or you aren't. It's coming. It seems like we're in a war of culture, economics, politics, good and evil these days. Seems fitting. The sun is set to declare war on our entire planet.